We're the Travel Hacking Teachers. Six years ago, we left our home in Alaska to explore the world while working and raising our family overseas. Since then, we have taught in India, the United Arab Emirates, and now we teach in Indonesia. However, because of COVID-19, we have been in the United States for over six months teaching online until we receive our work visas. During our winter break, we decided that we needed to immerse ourselves in the snow, mountains, and the salty coastline of the United States northernmost state. Join us as we return home to Alaska. Good morning, travel hackers. Yay, good morning. We're gonna come out here, drink some hot coffee, and watch the ocean, which is about 100 feet away. Yeah, the ocean's right there. Right there, but we're in Alaska in December, and so it is super dark right now. Yeah, sunrise doesn't happen until 9.44, so we've got still a couple hours before it's really gonna get light enough <laughs> to uh, really show you the ocean view, but it is beautiful. It is just past those street lights. And we can hear it from here. You can yeah. hear the ocean, but we're not gonna be able to see it for another hour. So I think we're gonna start <laughs> so. with some uh, Alaskan breakfast. Yep, let's head on in and make some sausage. Woohoo! All right, so what's for breakfast? All right, so we have an Alaska themed breakfast today. Uh, we are doing reindeer sausage with some of the ciabatta bread from the bakery yesterday. And we're doing the smoked salmon strips. So it should be pretty good. Acting as an ice-free harbor, Seward is an important supply center for interior Alaska. The bay is home for a variety of marine life above and below its frigid waters. Today was a mellow day, but often you can spot sea otters floating on the water, porpoise pods swimming around, sea lions, and even orcas. As we leave Seward, we head south to Lowell Point, a small fishing and kayaking community on the edge of Alaska State Park System and the Kenai Fjords National Park. This small community represents the beauty and eclectic mix of old and new Alaska, representations of a hard life in a harsh climate against the quintessential home feel of a community bound together in their common understanding that we are all in this together. We love visiting Miller's Landing, once a subsistence farm homestead first established by Grandma Penny and her children in the 1950s. This family-run homestead still exists today, but now provides a variety of water adventure opportunities, such as water taxi rides and kayaks. It even has a campground for tent camping and offers unique cabins on the beachfront of Resurrection Bay. We are at Miller's Landing, so we're starting our tour about two miles south of Seward, which is way down, kind of that mountain road, rides the ridge, right in the town there. And Miller's Landing is a great area. There's, in the summertime, it's all types of recreation. There's rentals, there's cabins. Right behind me is sort of the, the main store. We can get coffee and snacks and just hear good stories, some food and all that in there. And uh, it's just a great place to enjoy the view. I mean, this is really incredible. Being here in the winter with the snow and that gray air, man, you wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now. It's just beautiful. So it's about 25 degrees outside, um, right here by the water. It actually feels cold, but not freezing like it was uh, yesterday. The question may be like, what is there to do at Miller's Landing? Well, this is enough. Right now the kids are playing with rocks, they're throwing, trying to skip rocks in the ocean, pick up big ones. I mean, we could spend an hour down here, I think, just walking the beach and it's just plenty to do. So this is a great outdoor destination, even though there's not much open, there's still plenty to enjoy just by being out in nature. Dada, yeah? Need to help I'm not getting that. It's too cold, too wet.
All right, up next on our day in Seward is the Alaska Sea Life Center. This place is home to all types of research of the uh, aquariums and aquatic marina life. It's really a great place, uh, good for the kids. I'm excited for our kids to experience it. All right, let's head on in. Since we have this great map, I just want to real fast show you where we started and where we're headed to. So we started in Anchorage and then we drove all the way down to Seward and then we are gonna head back up through Anchorage all the way through Wasilla. We're gonna pass through Denali. We are gonna head all the way up to Fairbanks and then we'll make our way back down to Palmer and then back down to Anchorage. So it's gonna be a great road trip. touring the Sea Life Center and we could have spent all day here. There is so much for the kids to explore and for the adults to explore and learn about all the marine life of Alaska and all of the education that's going on here and the research from all these wonderful marine life animals. We got to go to the touch tank where the kids touch sea stars and sea cucumbers and sea urchins and we got to see the whole life cycle of a salmon from the little babies all the way up to the big guys and then they also got to go underneath the tanks of the seal, sea lions, and we got to get, see them up nice and close. And then we got to see the jellyfish at the end, which were really cool as well. So it has been really fun. And we could have stayed here longer, but we're done for the day. And we're gonna head to get some, some dinner. All right, so hopefully we're gonna end this night with some chowder uh, at the Alaska Seafood Grill. Let's see if they're still open. It looks like it. So uh, see if we can find some good stuff. All right, travel hackers, what a day we've had in Seward. Highlight for me was definitely the beach in that weather. And I definitely love the snow. But yeah! Uh, snowflakes were so big and fat and everything was just falling right there on the ocean as the waves were crashing, it was beautiful. What a day. So we are ending with the seafood chowder and then I think it's some Christmas movies and then bedtime for us. And maybe a little sake red IPA. Woohoo, right out yeah. of Anchorage, one of our favorite breweries. So we'll see you tomorrow morning, travel hackers. Yeah, have a good night. Bye.